What up guys, welcome back to another uh, UFC Fight Picks video on the uh, UFC Fight Night card, Swanson versus Ortega. Let's go ahead and get started here with these picks. So starting with the Fight Pass prelims, we got Antonio Braga Neto versus uh, Trevin Giles. Um, so a very easy pick, I'm going to go ahead and pick Giles or Giles on this one. Um, his opponent is a Jiu Jitsu fighter and I've never even heard of this guy. And yeah, it's been a long time since this guy even fought. Since uh, look at that, June 28, 2014. So it's been over three years, pretty much like three and a half. Um, yeah, I don't know where this guy's been, but yeah, to me, he's, he's just a uh, he's just a jujitsu fighter, and we haven't seen him fight in pretty much three and a half years. And his his opponent uh, is 10 to 0, so undefeated. Has pretty much almost all wins by finish, except for one. Um, you know, good power in his hands, athletic. Summer right there, ground and pound. Coming off a second round KO win, where he had five takedowns, tons of strikes. Pretty much just smashed his opponent on the ground. Um, yeah, it seems like this is going to be a very tough fight for uh, for Neto. Especially, you know, as a comeback fight. I mean, he has a fall, like I said, in... Uh, three and a half years pretty much and you got Giles at negative 260 favorite it makes sense I mean that guy's that guy uh, Neto's just you know with that long ass layoff you know we don't really know what he's gonna do we know he has a good ground game because of that Jiu Jitsu background but um, yeah I expect Giles to to uh, win this fight on the feet if he goes to the ground it's gonna be dangerous because of obviously by the you know the submission threat uh, from Neto but I feel like Giles will still be able to win the fight, so I'm gonna go pick Giles to win, and I think he's gonna I think he's gonna get another knockout, probably in the second round. All right, next fight we got Chris Grutz or yeah Grutz Macher or whatever versus uh, Davi Ramos. Uh, odds real quick here we got Ramos at negative 385, so huge favorite here in uh, Davi Ramos versus his opponent Chris. So let's go ahead and check out both these guys' pages. Don't know too much about both these guys here. This guy Jiu Jitsu is his background. His last fight was against Chas Kelly where he lost by second round submission. Um Yeah, the guys he's you know he's fought against or whatever he's won against. I don't even know who they are. So yeah, this guy's kinda just one of those guys. Um not too great. Davi Ramos, Jiu Jitsu background. I've seen this guy fight not too long ago. Uh, there it is, right there. Uh, there it is, right there, against uh, Sergio Moraes. Um, he lost by unanimous decision. Pretty much, it was uh, based on the stats here. They were only like four strikes off, but he lost to the uh, the bigger fighter, and that was at 170 pounds. Now he's you know coming back to his natural weight class at one uh, 155. Um, Ramos, you know, really good Jiu Jitsu. Uh, should be the stronger fighter. Uh, striking's not that bad, but his uh, output's not that good. Chris here, based on stats, looks like he has good output. So if he's able to just um, outstrike Davi on the feet and outwork him, maybe he can win by decision. But I still think uh, Ramos is probably going to win this fight. Um, I mean, he's a big favorite for a reason. Uh, Chris just isn't that good. So I expect Ramos to keep it, you know, kind of a slow paced fight, just, you know, slowly winning the fight. So I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, Ramos by decision. All right, next fight, feature fight on the uh, fight pass uh, prelims. We got Alejandro Perez versus Yuri Alcantara. Um, let's go ahead and check out uh, Perez's recent fights. Alcantara is coming off a loss to, uh, I think it was Brian Keller. So yeah, this guy, uh, summary boxing and striking. Looks like he has a nice little win streak, or he had. He has a draw with uh, Albert Morales. Uh, but yeah, he beat Jorgensen, uh, Ian Entwistle, who I think is a leg lock specialist or something like that. So he had two two finishes there. And then he has a draw with Albert Morales, who's also fighting on the card. Um, and then he beats Andre Sukumtov by split decision, gets a takedown. Stats don't look that good there. Either way, he wins the fight. Now he's fighting Alcantara, obviously an older veteran, 37 years old. Pretty much, you know, 10 years older. Um, he was looking good. 
he beat Luke Sanders, who's also on the card. I mean, kind of a fluky submission, if you think about it, because he was getting his ass whooped. Just based on the stats right there, you guys could pretty much see that. Um, but whatever, he catches him, gets that submission. Uh, against Brad Pickett, he beats him up and then taps him out. That was super impressive, but Brad Pickett's already retired pretty much. Um, and he's another old fighter. Uh, Brian Keller taps him out in the first round, but I mean, he just got caught there. So, it just kind of depends how uh, Uriel Kendra comes out. If he comes out looking sharp on the feet, he'll, he'll probably win this fight. Um, but man, he's getting older. So, I'm going to go ahead and just take the younger fighter here, Alejandro Perez. Um, he has good striking, you know, good output. He could also, you know, resort to using takedowns. So, yeah, I, I expect him to win the fight. It's going to be a close fight, though, and he is a plus 156 underdog. So, yeah, there's some value there for sure. Um, I, I don't think Alcantara here is a for sure win or anything like that. So, I'm going to go to pick Perez here as underdog, and I think he'll win by decision. All right, next fight, we got Frankie Sainz versus Marab. Diva, uh, Devala, what? Devalishvili? Yeah, whatever. No, let's just say Valishvili. Valishvili. Nah, never mind. Anyways, uh, uh I was just call him Marab. So yeah, Frankie Sanders versus Marab. Um, Marab's making his UFC debut. Some of you guys are probably familiar with Frankie Sanders. Had a couple fights already in the UFC. Um, pretty much a veteran here. 37 years old though. He's also you know, one of these older fighters, like uh, Yuri Alcantara. Three fight losing streak, so right away, that's a big red flag right there. Lost to Faber, lost to Wineland, and then Augusto Mendez. Um, split decision loss, but either way, he lost. So he hasn't won in like a while, man, since 2015. Over two years. Uh, his opponent, making his UFC debut, has a background in judo and striking. A lot younger, 26 years old. Uh... What else we got here? Six by winning streak, one first round finish, two wins by KO, and he has one win by submission. Black belt and judo. So he has a judo background. And uh, well, that's pretty much it for that. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the newcomer here on this one. Frankie just hasn't looked great. Um, I'm pretty sure the odds are also, uh, yeah, see, you know, they're leaning towards Marab here, negative uh, 162. So that's a pretty decent, you know, favorite there. Um, yeah, Frankie just getting older, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much fade him, count him out. I think Marab will win, will win this fight more than likely just by decision. Uh, next fight we got Carl's John the Thomas versus Alex Perez. So very easy fight to pick. I'm taking Alex Perez. He looked pretty good in the uh, in the Dana White uh, Tuesday. Tuesday fight night, whatever, uh, contender series. Has some really good kicks. Looks like he has some good boxing. And obviously has a submission game also. That was at 125 pounds. Now he's going to fight at 135 according to the uh, the stats here at 135 pounds. Uh, his opponent, Carlos John de Thomas, uh, he's, he's not that great. Prefers to grapple. And on the feet, he doesn't look that impressive. So very easy fight to pick. And Alex Perez is negative 345 favorite, so it makes sense. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I just expect uh, Perez to beat him up on the feet. And if, if it goes to the ground, Thomas is a grappler. You know, he likes to wrestle. But I feel like, you know, if he stays on the ground too much. I think Perez could probably catch him with some sort of uh, guillotine or something like that. So, I'll take Perez winning this fight all day. And we can see a finish here. So, I'm going to go ahead and say Perez. I'm going to say third round knockout. All right, next fight, Luke Sanders versus Andre Sukumtoth. Um, both good strikers, uh, good fighters here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and favor Luke Sanders here. He is, I'm pretty sure, the favorite. Yeah, negative 240. Um, he, he was looking like a beast against Yuri Alcantara until, you know, until he gets caught. He has very high uh, striking output, as you guys can see right there. That's like the highest I've seen, especially because he has a couple fights already. Um, he, he has over 10 strikes, uh, 10 significant strikes landed per minute. So this guy has a huge output with the striking. Also has good power in his hands. I think he has a good left hand. Uh, and also, I think he could wrestle also. So, I mean, he's just very well-rounded. Uh, his opponent, Andre, is just pretty much just a striker. Just, you know, he's primarily a, a multi-striker. So, yeah, I'm liking pretty much Sanders in this matchup. 
here's his page here so you guys could see um he smashed Maxim, uh he smashed the uh, Maximo Blanco and then against against Alcantara of course he got caught um yeah yeah see so he has, he does have some wrestling background up in there like I said he's well rounded his opponent boxing is his, his summary there um yeah he's losing fights by split decision close fights but you know he's still losing um it's hard to knock him out or put him away but I feel like Sanders you know is capable of doing that if not he's just gonna beat him up for all three rounds um but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just pick Sanders and I do think he'll more than likely win by decision because Andre seems very durable uh, but I feel like it will be a dominant win for uh for Luke Sanders so Sanders by decision all right next fight Alexis Davis versus Liz Carmouche easy fight to pick I'm picking uh, Liz Carmouche in this matchup um Alexis Davis looked pretty bad in her, la in her last fight not impressive at all. Uh, Carmouche, I feel like her wrestling here uh, will win her the fight. Um, I think she hasn't fought in a while either. Uh, Davis fought more recently, but, you know, Carmouche is coming off, I think, two wins. Let me just check out her page here real quick. <sighs> so we got... Yeah, Carmouche is on a 2-5 win streak right now. She beat Caitlin Chukagian by split decision. Had four takedowns in that fight. Alexis Davis is also coming off a win, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, against uh, Cindy uh, Dandoy. Dandoy had five takedowns, but, you know, still lost the five because, you know, obviously she got outstruck. But, yeah, everybody was saying how bad, you know, Davis looked. And, you know, it is pretty true. Uh, Cindy Dandoy, you know, is a very bad UFC fighter. Um, pretty much just the grappler and her striking's awful and Davis, you know, couldn't put her away. Um, so yeah, Davis not looking too great. I feel like Carmouche is, is the better fighter at this point in, uh, both of their careers. So I'm going to go to take Carmouche and I think her wrestling, like I said, will win her the fight. Davis, uh, taking the fence, not looking too great there either. So yeah, Carmouche, uh, by decision. All right, now we're on to the main card here, guys. We got Albert Morales versus Benito Lopez. This is a very close fight, but I'm going to go ahead and take uh, Benito Lopez. He looked really good in the uh, Dana White show. Um, really good striking, high output, throws a lot of, you know, a lot of high kicks. Uh, to me, he, you know, he impressed me with his striking style, and he also looks uh, pretty durable also. His opponent, Albert Morales, you know, he's not he's not a bum. He's, he's a pretty decent fighter also, you know, good striker. Um, I think he fought, no, he didn't fight Brow. He fought Thomas Almeida. He got knocked out, but, you know, he had a good showing there in that fight, even though he lost. Um, he did He did uh, beat Andre Sukumta by split decision, but whatever, he won. That's his only win in the UFC. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's going to be a fun fight. You know, both these guys like to strike. So I see this fight uh, mostly playing out on the feet, and on the feet I just feel Benito Lopez is uh, his volume with his striking, his combinations, you know those head kicks. I feel like he will just be the better, the better fighter there with the striking. Even though uh, Albert Morales does have that UFC experience already, so I mean it's kind of risky because you know Morales could pull off the uh, the win here. The odds are very close. So you guys can see right there, negative 109 Morales and Lopez at negative 111. So it's pretty much an even fight, but I'm going to go ahead and take Lopez, so, yeah. So I'll pick Lopez to win this fight by decision. Morales seems pretty durable, so, yeah. All right, next fight, uh, next fight we got Eric Anders versus Marcus Perez. I'm going to go ahead and just take Eric Anders on this one. He looked very impressive. Uh, I think he beat up Rafael Natal. Let me just double check here. And also, this guy's very athletic, uh, athletic, uh, athletic fighter. Yeah, he knocked him out in the first round. Um, former linebacker at the University of Alabama. So I mean, obviously, just a very high-level athlete. Extremely athletic, extremely explosive. Um, good power in his hands. Um, undefeated fighter, nine to zero. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty much the complete package. Both these guys are nine to zero, but I just feel like Eric Anders is the better fighter. Also, the odds dictate that at negative 335. We've seen more of Anders and Marcus Perez making his UFC debut here. So, um, yeah, I feel comfortable picking Anders here. 
I think he should get the uh, he should get the win here, and I think he might also get a finish. So I'm gonna take Anders here, uh, second round knockout. Next fight: Scott Holtzman versus Daryl Horcher. Um, kind of a close fight in some ways. Let's just look at the odds here. Yeah, we got Holtzman as, as a slight slight favorite there. Daryl Horcher hasn't looked too impressive here in his uh, UFC uh, career. First of all, he made his UFC debut against uh, Khabib, so obviously that didn't go well. He got beat up, but that's Khabib, so we'll give him a pass. Then he returns to fight against Devin Powell, a guy who's supposed to be a low-level fighter, and he barely beats him by split decision. So I'm going to go and just, you know, pick against Horcher on this one. You know, he's just obviously not that great. His opponent, Scott Holtzman, coming off a win against Michael McBride. This guy, you know, he beats low level fighters and Do and Daryl Horcher you know I'm gonna say he's kind of like in that range of you know of, of being a low level fighter so I'm gonna go and pick Holtzman on this one I feel like he also has the better stand up he has good kicks um good wrestling also but Horcher also you know has good wrestling good take on the fans so I feel like the play the fight will play out on the feet and on the feet I feel like Holtzman has more volume and he should be able to outstrike and outpoint Horcher on the feet so I'm going to take Holtzman here to win this fight. And I'm going to go ahead and say uh, Holtzman by, yeah, by decision. All right, guys, next fight we got Marlon, Marlon Moraes versus Aljamain Sterling. So look at the odds here. Uh, Moraes is a slight favorite there. But I like the uh, I like the value on uh, Aljamain Sterling. Uh you know he's improving his striking has good wrestling he's long for the weight class he's kind of like another john jones here in this weight class um you know has long reach has a you know a creative striking style you know uses those kicks um uses those elbows so like i said you know, it's kind of almost like kind of like a john jones obviously not as good but i feel like sterling here is going to be able to win this fight against Marlon Moraes. Moraes is coming in short notice here. Um, so I think that obviously affects the fight there. Um, so we're probably not going to see the best Moraes here. And I just feel like Sterling is just, you know, just getting better. Plus, at that value, him being the uh, the underdog is is the main, the main reason I am picking him, though. As you guys can see right there, he's plus 118. It's very close, but he is uh, an underdog. And... I like I like um on uh on DraftKings. If you guys play DraftKings, I like his price on there, and I think he's a good play. Um, and yeah, I just feel like Sterling can win this fight. Uh, on the feet, I feel like he could win because of his output. Uh, even though he doesn't do a lot of damage, I think his output and him be even able to uh, mix in some takedowns or takedown attempts could you know sway the uh, the judges you know to score the fight in his favor. So I'm gonna go pick Sterling on this one. Moraes is a good striker. Um, but he didn't, you know, he didn't overly impress me against uh, John Dodson, even though he won the fight. So yeah, I'm going to pick Sterling here uh, to win by decision. All right, co-main event, guys. We got Jason Knight versus Gabriel Benitez. Um, so Jason Knight's coming off a really bad loss to Ricardo Lamas, where he got knocked out in the first round. Um, I was very big on Jason Knight, and then he just gets starched in the first round. So that was a big letdown. And obviously, I kind of want to fade him here, and I am going to fade him. So, I'm picking Gabriel Benitez here. He's a solid striker. Um, let's see. He is coming off a loss to Barzola, where he got taken down, you know, lots of times. But Barzola is more of a wrestler than Jason Knight is. Uh, Jason Knight, you know, he likes to keep it on the feet. He likes to keep it kind of like a dog fight type of style. Um, that's kind of just, you know, how he fights. Um uh, Benitez, his last one against, was against Sam Cecilia, who's a wrestler with, you know, good power in his hands. He tapped him out in the second round. He, this guy also lost to uh, Andre Philly, but, you know, he's a really good striker. Um, and then he beat uh, Clay Collard. But, yeah, I like Gabriel Benitez here. I feel like he has a lot of value, especially on DraftKings. Uh, he is plus 250. I feel like Jason Knight, you know, coming off that knockout, that's going to affect him. His chin, we thought, you know, we thought he had an iron chin, but obviously, you know, this guy can be knocked out. And I feel like Benitez has enough power and also has really just really solid kicks. I mean, his kicks are, are very, very heavy, very vicious. 
And I want to say he's still training over there at San Jose. Or, you know what? It might be another guy. Let me look right here. Yeah. Yeah, see, it is right there. See, I arrived to AK. See, yeah, this guy was training over there at AK. So, obviously training over there for a bit. You know, I think he's probably still there. But either way, um, you know, training at AK, obviously, that's just going to make him better. Um, like I said, this guy has, you know, really good kicks, heavy kicks. And I feel like he's going to be able to use those, uh, you know, those left kicks to the body on uh, on Jason and I all day. I feel like he's going like to be able to do damage. And like I said, since Knight's coming off that knockout, you know, he can get he can get hurt and he will be able to get hurt in this fight. I think Benitez, as long as he uh, stuffs the takedown, he should be able to win this fight on the feet. I feel like he's more technical. And like I said, he got that power. So, yeah, I'm picking Benitez here as uh, the biggest or actually my most uh, favorite underdog here on the card. So, yeah, Benitez. I'm going to go ahead and say he knocks him out also. So, Benitez, uh, I'm going to say it's going to be a war. So, I'm going to say Benitez, uh, third round knockout. All right, next fight, guys, is the co I mean, not the co-main event. Is the main event. We got Cub Swanson versus Brian Ortega. Um, so yeah, very close fight. Um, where they got the odds at? Yeah, pretty even there. Pretty much an even fight, pick them fight. Um, so yeah, both of them are looking really good right now. Both of them are on win streaks. I'm gonna go ahead and take Brian Ortega, undefeated fighter. Has really good boxing, really good output. Um, obviously, his jiu-jitsu game is, you know, off the charts. He has really good jiu-jitsu. He doesn't really wrestle that much, which kind of sucks. Because if he did, you know, if he had really good takedowns, he could take people down and just tap them out easily. I wonder if he's been working on that or he's just been working on his stand-up. Either way, um, I feel like he can win the fight on the feet. Obviously, if he goes to the ground, he's going to have a big advantage there. Um, Cub, obviously, primarily a striker. Good boxing. Um... But, I feel like, you know, Ortega here is going to be able to win this fight on the feet. Um, with his volume, he has a really good, you know, really good chin. It's going to be hard for Cub to knock him out. Um, but, man, that's a really close fight. So, I mean, it could, it could, it could uh, really go either way. But, for some reason, I just feel like Ortega is going to be able to win this fight. It's kind of like one of those gut picks. And... I mean, this guy just ends up winning fights. Like, fights where he's losing. Like, against Moicano, I thought he was losing that fight. And then he comes back and then taps him out. Like like I'm saying, if whenever it goes to the ground, Ortega just, you know, has a huge advantage. And he's going to be able to tap out pretty much anybody. Um, of course, Cub's not going to want to take it to the ground. But you never know. It goes to the ground. Eventually, it might just go to the ground. And if it does, you know, Ortega's going to be able to choke him out. Um, but like I said, even on the feet, Ortega has that improved boxing good volume has an iron chin you know he's not scared of getting hit um you know he walks people down excellent cardio so yeah i feel like it's gonna be a fun fight i could see this going five rounds um so whoever you know t you know puts the who puts the uh, the pressure and puts the pace on on uh, one another is gonna win the fight and i feel like that's gonna be ortega ortega is always moving forward and he's always putting the pressure on people so and, and because you know he's not you know um, he's not uh, scared of getting taken down, you know he can just you know march forward all day because he knows like if you try to take him down he's he's just gonna be able to you know choke you out. So yeah, I'm liking Ortega here, and yeah, I'll go ahead and take him to win here uh, by decision. It's gonna be a fun fight. You know I can't wait to watch the fight. It's, it's pretty much the best fight here on the card. Um, there's some decent fights here on the card, but I mean I really just want to see this fight. So yeah, it should be a really good fight. Um, but yeah, Ortega by decision. All right, guys, that does it for me for my picks. Let me give you guys my my top three most confident picks. So I'm gonna start with Luke Sanders. Feel like very confident. You know he's gonna be able to get the win here. Should be able to dominate that fight, especially if he goes to the ground. Uh, my next most confident pick would have to be uh, Giles. Uh, Neto's coming off that long layoff, and I feel like Giles here should be able to win this fight for sure. Next fight, or next fighter here that I like. Uh, where is he at? Uh, Eric Anders. I feel like, you know, this guy looking really good. Good power. Explosive. I feel like he gets another finish. And, yeah. 
very confident in him winning the fight. So those are my top three most confident picks. Least confident picks uh, would have to be... Let's see, who do I got over here? Who do I got over here? Uh, Alejandro Perez, you never know. If uh, <clears throat> if uh, Alcantara comes out looking really good, then uh, there's a good chance that, you know, Perez is probably going to lose the fight. Uh, you know, Alcantara is kind of like, you know, hot or cold, you know. Sometimes he'll come out looking good. Sometimes he'll come out looking like whatever. So if he comes out looking really good, then it's going to be hard for Perez uh, to win the fight. So Perez, you know, is my underdog pick, or one of my underdog picks. So he'd be my least confident guy, or least confident pick, I guess, that uh, I would pick. Um, another least confident pick would have to be maybe Benitez, maybe Jason Knight, you know, rebounds from that KO loss, puts the pressure on him, takes him down, taps him out. You know, you just never know. And the other least confident pick would have to be... Eh, maybe Benito Lopez, maybe he, you know, you know what he call it, doesn't perform well, you know, in his UFC debut, and Morales, you know, ends up getting that win. But that's going to be it, guys, for the video. Those are my top three uh, least confident picks. But, you know, I still feel very confident anyway, even with Benitez. But, you know, he is an underdog for a reason. So we're going to have to see how that plans out. But, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Uh, hopefully, you know, you guys got some, uh, good, you know, info here on these fights, but, uh, go ahead and post com uh, some comments below. Let me know who you guys picked, uh, or who you guys' uh, picks are here for the fights. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Uh, as always though, check out the links below in the description to support the channel. Um, especially the DraftKings. If you guys don't play DraftKings, but you're good with picks, you know, play DraftKings. You never know. You can win some money there. So, yeah, check out the links below in the description. Uh, but, yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Oh, wait. Also, enjoy the fights. <laughs> All right, guys. Catch you guys on the next one.